there's the law. And I'm sorry for all the glare. Framed next to a photo of her son is the bipartisan law that gives this grieving mom hope. We are patriots. We love this country. My son loved this country. Susie Way's son, 23-year-old Petty Officer 3rd Class Jordan Way, died three years ago next month. Following shoulder surgery, his surgeon prescribed an increasing dose of the powerful painkiller oxycodone. According to records, Wei took 82 pills as directed and prescribed over a four-day period. His cause of death, opioid toxicity. Our Jordan is dead. We're fighting for other people's Jordans because we don't want this to happen to them. Because of a 1950 Supreme Court ruling known as the Ferris Doctrine, the Way family cannot sue the military's doctors for medical malpractice. But a year-long series of Fox 46 investigations has opened the door. It's now signed. Yeah. Our investigations leading to a new law signed as part of the National Defense Authorization Act. It gives the Department of Defense half a billion dollars to investigate and pay out malpractice claims. But 11 months later, the ways are still waiting. That was the hope with this law, that there was going to be accountability, and, um, and we've heard nothing. Angry is an understatement. Um, it's... It is baffling. The bipartisan measure was named after Fort Bragg Green Beret Sergeant First Class Richard Stasekel. In 2018, we first told you doctors at Womack Army Medical Center misdiagnosed his lung cancer as pneumonia. He's now stage four. Rich, if you were a civilian, you'd be able to sue the doctors, right? Yes. If you were a veteran, you'd be able to sue. Yes. If you were a prisoner, you'd be able to sue. Correct. But because you're active duty, you can't. Absolutely. It sounds crazy. Just a little bit. You know, it it's definitely doesn't sound right that, you know, you don't have the same rights and um, everything else as you would a civilian. State School's attorney, Natalie Kwam, says there are at least 120 claims that are now in limbo after the DOD missed two deadlines to develop a framework to implement the new law. I have clients that are dying or have died waiting for the process and it's unfair. The DOD did not respond to our request for comment. It's very frustrating, uh, Matt, and thank you for the, the all the reporting you did on this issue. On Capitol Hill, lawmakers like Republican Congressman Richard Hudson of Concord, who co-sponsored the bipartisan bill, say the delay is unacceptable. We're going to keep working on it and we're going to we're not going to stop till we get it done. Matt Grant, Fox 46.